Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the 130 of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Looking at this thing here. Ah, uh, this bent thing there. There we go. Ah, uh, uh, so yeah, man. You know, this morning, I'm not sure what we're going to call this epistle. I'm, I'm, you know, thinking about different ideas and all that, or what, what to call it, but um, I do know this. Uh, you know, this morning, waking up this morning, kind of wake up kind of funny this, this morning, and you know, I had to go to the plantation, of, of course. Well, uh, was awakened out of a sleep, you know, on, on yesterday, which was supposedly rest day, you know, but hey, you're still on call and all that shit because we're yet this day, this day in our captivity. Uh, and then, uh, so this morning, the work, you know, we have to do the work because Yahweh Shemashai has declared, you know, if you love me, feed my sheep. And we love Yahweh Shemashai. And this is the gospel of peace. You know, this is a, this is a, this is the, this, this, this beautiful epistle, these, these epistles, this, this understanding, should I say, this knowledge has been given us to us. And of course, we're going to declare, of course, we're going to uh, herald in the coming of the Lord and the kingdom of heaven. Right. And uh, but this morning I was like uh, waiting on the spirit. I'm asking, what, what, what can I bring out this morning? You know, because this weekend and um, all last week, there was a there was a lot of wonderful epistles that were brought out. The, uh, the spirit was on me to bring out a few things. You know, uh, the camp was great. Big, big, my big brother, Elder Manatha Zatba. I uh, reposted some of my videos and it blows my mind, man. You know, the love and all this stuff. And, the, you know, the word behind Hashem Shemashah is being spread and it's beautiful. And I'm like, well, what can we do today? And um, so I had to finish up a thing uh, for, for, for the plantation this morning. Because, of course, the, the supply store was closed all yesterday and all that stuff. So I went to finish up that. And I was moping around, bro. I was like, uh, I was lowering the spirit down, tired. Just not feeling right, right? And I uh, forgot to take the stick out of the back of the Jeep and I started driving off. And then I heard the, the crash and the, and the loud bump and the, and the stick fell out the Jeep and, the, and the, door, the back door closed down hard and all that stuff. So I stopped on the hill and I walked back to get it. And I was walking back to the Jeep. You know, everything, nothing was broken or nothing like that, but it was just that uh, thinking I'm like, dude, what the hell? You, what, what, what's wrong with you, man? Hold your head up. Look at how you slump down and, and like you kind of all up, like you're upset or something. And uh, it dawned on me about the, the truth, you know. Of course, we're, we're you know, we're worn out. They, you know, they're wearing out the saints. We're tired. We're waiting on you. How about you, shy? But we have this truth, bro. Even though we may not walk around smiling eh, <laughs> and all that stuff. Our spirit on the inside should be at at peace and at ease, and, and you know, constantly, you know, constantly trying to be in the spirit. Uh, and we, know it's a, it's, it's not easy. It's a fight. But um, then the epistle came to me. Um, the epistle came at that point of you know not being all upset, even though you know the scripture telling us you know be angry but sin not and all this stuff, and surely oppression make a wild man mad. But at the same time, Yahweh Shemashah has given us all this other comfort, all these, these scriptures about being joyful and happy, right? And once again, all the edification that's been brought out this week alone, just last piece, this last past week, the, um, and <laughs> all praises to Yahweh Shemashah. Uh, and the, uh, like I said again, the, the camp video was, was really awesome. There was a few few bit of videos, you know, that you know through the spirit that was brought out. That was great. That the uh, all the brothers from Dallas, I mean, all the elders, apostles, all the big brothers, everybody's been bringing out some dynamic videos lately, you know. Uh, all and all the warnings about the plans of the wicked Esau, all these things, brothers and sisters, right? And not to mention, I just when I just looked up just a minute ago, when I just ch chuckled because uh, I just came from the post office. 
and and in the post office where I, where I am, they're, they're the, all the boxes are the shipping boxes are all around, you know, of other people's things. And every time I look around, I see 144, 414, 414. And I, when I just looked up, the the, the thing said uh, four minutes and 14 seconds again. You know, it's it's just it's enough, right? It is enough. It is enough. So all praises to you. How about Shema Shai? Let's get into the epistle. I just want to. Oh, oh, wait. And then also, <laughs> then also, uh, I want to. I definitely want to use this. Um, GMS get this work once again. Had this. Uh, I I think it was GMS get this work. We had this little piece from Kevin Hart's stand up video when Sakari was going off, and it and it said. Uh, you're not just going to bat, you just, you just, oh wait, hold on, wait a minute now. You're not just going to blow past that. What you just said, you're just not going to blow past that, right? I want to put that, I want to use that too. But for, on a positive note, hey, all this, all this wonderful pistol that we just, that, that just came out, you know, for all, all the brothers, all the elders, all the brothers, the ones that I'm still uh, working on reposting and all this stuff. Oh, we, we, hey, we just can't blow past that, you know, because uh, we always constantly bring out more and more and more. Hey, we just can't blow past that, bro. The the knowledge and the wisdom that Yahweh Shemashah has given us. Meditate. That's why the scriptures right here. We're gonna get into the scriptures. We're gonna get into the scriptures. Let's go to the book of Joshua. Okay, we're gonna get into the scriptures now, bro. I just wanted to bring that out, you know, to to uh, ease into this epistle. Hopefully, it'll be edifying and you know, well, exhorting, faith faith building, of course. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou might have observed to do according to all that is written therein. For then shall thou make thy way prosperous, and then shall thou have, thou shalt have good success. Right? So because you have Hashem HaShai giving us these things, giving us this wisdom, you know, as the scripture proclaims, you have Hashem HaShai giveth all wisdom. He's, he's blew that breath of life into us, brothers and sisters. And it's a, it's a joy, joyful thing. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to be a part of this thing of ours, as the other apostle, apostle Gabar uh, speaks. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9, verse 24. Salaki, let's start at 23. Thus said the Lord, Yehobah Shemashah, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, right? Because, hey, once again, everything comes back to the word of Yahweh Shem HaShai. Yahweh Shem HaShai is the one that giveth all knowledge. Yahweh Shem HaShai is the one that maketh poor, is the one that maketh rich, right? Yahweh Shem HaShai is the one that, that heals and wound, wounds and heals, you know? Um, thus say Yahweh Shem HaShai, let not the wise man, once again, Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23, glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his, in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am Yahweh Shema Shai, which, is, which, which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said Yahweh Shema Shai. Behold, the days come, said Yahweh Shema Shai, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Egypt and Judah and Edom and children of Ammon and Moab and all that are in the uttermost corners that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the, in the heart. Right. And that's why Yahweh Shem has brought us back. You know, uh, he sent his, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to, to cover us with his blood. Now we, we're no more going to come to him being the un, un, unclean and uncircumcised. Right. Now we're going to come to him and he's going to say, those are my people. And we're going to say, he is our God, brothers and sisters. And that's what's happening right now. Yahweh Hashem HaShah is made known. And let's come, come on, let's go get it. Let's go to the book of Romans. Chapter 9, verse 23. Let's start at 22. What if Yahweh Hashem HaShah willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long sufferings the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. Uh-huh. And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory, 
even us, whom he had called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles, right? And we are come to the understanding, bro. You know, we're no, no, we're no longer in that darkness. We come to the understanding that these scriptures are only to, referring to the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, the lost 12 tribes of Israel, the Lord's chosen people, whom he has uh, chosen of all the nations of the, of the earth, bro. We're going to the book of Ezekiel. Wait a minute. No, I want to go to Isaiah first. Isaiah chapter 43. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1. But no, but now, thus said Yahweh Shemashah, the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And, and through the rivers, thou shalt not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am Yahweh Shemashah, the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Saber for thee. That's right. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honor, honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. You know, Yahweh Shemashah goes on to continue on to say, Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. Right. And you know what I'm talking about? Hey, bro. You know, that might just be the, that, that might just be the, the, the uh, title of the epistle. Wait a minute. You're just not going to blow past that, is you? No, man. We're going to reiterate this. We're going to reiterate this understanding and, the, and the, uh, the, uh, just being thankful to Yahweh Shemashah Shah again. Because once we come to the understanding of who Yahweh Shemashah Shah is and we believe as the scripture proclaimed, he that believeth on me is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. He's, he's showing us these tokens. You know, uh, he's, 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 uh, he's showing us, hey, who he's working, who's, who he's dealing with and who he's not dealing with. Who's got the understanding, who does not have the understanding, bro. Uh, not, not to, as, 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 as we just read. Let's go get it again. Just reiterate that again. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 24. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. Right. Hey, man, what, what's the scripture say? They have not known me. They have not known me. They have not known me. But, but we know him. You know, they say that they know the Yahweh Shemashah, but they, they don't know the Lord. They, uh, and we're talking about these, these, uh, these other camps, bro. They don't know Yahweh Shemashah. They claim to know the Lord. They call upon his name, but in works they deny him. You know, they do all these things. That's, that's, uh, they bring out these, all these wayward doctrines and, uh, and it seem like as if they, they're not afraid of Yahweh Shem Hashai. They, they, they denounce the, the, the M-A-R-K, you know, and these are the things that Yahweh Shem Hashai is preparing us for. These times, this time of Jacob's trouble. And that's one, once again, you ain't just, you just not going to blow past that, right? You're not just going to blow past that, bro. Because uh, as we are, you know, as we right now bringing out this word, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, the devil that the Bible speaks of, the elites of this society, the ones that, that, that rule everything, they're, they're bearing down on what we can say and what we cannot say, all right, uh, and on these platforms. It's getting tighter. It's getting tighter. More censorship. All these things are being declared. These unrighteous decrees. You're not just going to blow past that, bro. Uh-uh. Come on, let's go. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 13. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh Shemashah, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live. I shall place you in your land. Then shall ye know that I am Yahweh Shemashah, that I, Yahweh Shemashah, have spoken it and performed it, say Yahweh Shemashah. Right, once again, the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, Yahweh is his, the, the, the Almighty, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai, has come back. They've given us the spirit, the spirit of truth, the spirit of discernment. Now you see them demons, them devils. Can y'all hear that? That shit loud as hell. There's probably a car way down there, about three, five or six blocks down there. 
And this shit sound like it's right here in the boom box, right by, right by my ear, man. Oh, good, they turned it down. Wait, nope, nope, it's a break. But no, man, we just not gonna blow past. We just can't can't blow past that, bro. All praises to you, how about Shimon Shah, man? Once again for this for this understanding. Yeah, how about Shimon Shah? These prophecies uh, are being fulfilled, and we're we're living these. We're living up. We we're, we're we're part of the prophecies, being waking up out of the out of our graves, you know, uh, from that dead estate, thinking running around here, thinking that we we some Negroes, his, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You know, uh, being joined on to the heathen out here in this wicked ass world that promotes everything that's contrary to the word we have about Shema Shai and not even knowing it, man. That's the, that's the witchcraft that these people had done to the whole earth as the scripture proclaims. The devil had come down to deceive the nations and we were all wrapped up in that. But Yahweh about Shema Shai redeemed us out of that. He said, hey, let me go, let me go get my people. Let me blow this breath into them. Let's read that one more time. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 13. Wait, let's start at 12. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus said Yahweh Bashim Asha, the Lord God, Behold, O my people. Once again, that he's not dealing with everybody. He's not talking about all nations. He's talking about the children of Israel, the 144, hopefully late, and one third of Israel at this time as well. O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh Bashim Asha, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves. Because the prophecy said that we were going to discontinue from our heritage. We were going to be sold in the land of our enemies, you know, to a people that we did not know. Uh, and we're going to be served. We're going to be servants. We're going to be handmaids. You know, um, yeah, let's go get that real quick in the book of Deuteronomy. But now Yahweh Bashim Asha is showing us great mercy. He's waking us up in his last days. Prophecy being fulfilled. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, where have I spoken to thee? Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So we understand now that Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, is not our friend, bro. They are our enemies, man. And this is all the will of Yahweh Shema Shai that we believe, understand, and, whole, and wholeheartedly you know, cleave unto him and turn away from this wicked world. We just, we're just not going to blow past that, bro. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low, low estate. Now, see, because, uh, now we all normally read this when we're going through some, some, some afflictions, some, uh, you know, and bring it out on occasion when something, you know, done happened to us that hurt us in our lives and stuff. Just feeling down in the dumps or whatever. But it's also talking about uh, us as a nation of people. Brought down to this lower state in uh, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. The valley of the shadow of death. You know, be patient now. Because how about Shem Hashem say he's going to come back and redeem us. He said we're, we're here in our punishment, but just understanding all these things. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Right, and also going into, hey, when you understand these things, just be patient. Don't, don't go try to seek out, um, be over-righteous, you know, or seek out your own salvation, or, or try to establish anything in this wicked-ass kingdom. Do what the scripture, be doers of the word and not hearers only. You know what I'm talking about? Be doers of the word and not hearers only, bro. Don't be going off. Period, point blank. Just understand, oh, this is our punishment. You know, uh, and right now, this is, this is our grace period for us to come back and get, and get right with Yahweh Bashim Ashai. You know, um, just like a child would when they're in punishment, when they get sent to that room or whatever, they're supposed to be contemplating on, on considering the things that they undid. So when they, when they are relieved, they're not going to just run so quickly to do those things again. And that's what's happening to the 144, hopefully like the one third of Israel. We, we're considering the things that we've done. And we're more, we, we, no, we, we understand, now we understand the arrows are way, are our ways, worshiping these false gods and false idols, even ourselves, you know, these uh, pagan holidays, all this stuff, eating these abominable foods, uh, any, all of it, bro. And we're just not going to blow past that, man. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient with thou art changed to a lower state. So now we're just being patient, we're being humble, and we believe, and we're waiting on you, how about Shema Shah, to come and deliver us, we're seeing the signs. We, we see who, we, who we're dealing with, the devil, you know, and even in that, be patient. 
Because you have Hashem Asha say, hey, you know, this is their kingdom. Do what they say until it goes contrary to the word of Yahweh Hashem Asha with all these uh, abominable things that they want to, you know, put inside the other people, right? We're not supposed to be doing that kind of stuff because now we're coming back to our true heritage that we're holy and we're supposed to be separate, all right? We're the Lord's people. This is the book of Baruch once again. Hey, this is a, a reiteration of, them, of, the, of the scriptures, bro. Uh, meditate upon these things that we read about in the book of Joshua. You know, meditate upon these things. Don't just blow, just, just don't blow past that, bro. The book of uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 4. Oh, Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing unto Yahweh and Shemashah are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people. The memorial of Israel. Right, so once again, and that's what scripture we was talking about earlier. When I was like, you know, uh, the Lord said, yeah, be, be angry, but sin not. Surely oppression make a, a wise man mad, but at the same time, he said, be happy that we know Yahweh Hashem Shai. Glory, glory in this, that we know and understand his words, bro. you know, that we understand his will, okay? Happy are we, for the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Shai are made known to us. Just the, just the other day, uh, Elder Apostle uh, Tahar made an, made an epistle that was based off of another camp, I think, what was it, AOI? And he said that they they are now preaching the M A R K, right? And uh, see, because that's one of the things uh, that's pleasing to Yahweh Shemasha that we understand and believe His words, right? And we're preparing our hearts and minds for this time of Jacob's trouble because one we're gonna get to it in a minute. One of the uh, he's telling us, and we, let's go get it. Let's go get it in a minute. Let's go get it now. We're gonna first we're gonna jump over to uh, John. First John, and that way we're gonna move move along in the epistle as well. Come on, yeah. First John, chapter five, verse twenty-one. You know I gotta jump back up to five. <laughs> wait, wait. You know I gotta jump back up to my scripture up here. Uh, 1 John chapter 5, verse 19. Since we're right here, man. And we know that we, we are of Yahweh Shemasha and the whole world lies in wickedness, right? Yes, as, as, because once again, Yahweh Shemasha is telling us, hey, uh, be not unequally yoked with non believers, right? Uh, can two walk together unless they be agreed? Nope. All these things to keep us separate and holy. Understanding that we have the understanding of, of, of Yahweh Hashem Hashai, but the natural man can't receive these things. Okay, all you see, you see, it all goes together. So we know that we are of Yahweh Hashem Hashai and the whole world lies in wickedness. They don't believe in this true, 100% truth. They don't believe that Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And he's, he's uh, forming this damn trap for, for um, this NWO to, to uh, make everyone a perpetual slave. It, you know, this is not good enough what he's got right now. That we're freaking slaves right now? No, no, he want to go all the way in. See? But Yahweh Shemashah said he's going to lift up a standard. So we should glory in these things, that understand these things, right? Verse 20. And we know that the Son of Yahweh is come and have given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. Wow, bro, you see? And we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Yahweh Shai. This is the true Yahweh Bashim al Shai and eternal life, right? These words are life, they're living water. This is the point I wanted to make, verse 21. So this is uh, 1 John chapter 5, verse 21. Little children, keep yourself from idols. Amen. Okay, and that's one of the things that's pleasing to Yahweh Bashim al Shai, that we, you know, keep ourselves from idols, right? And as the brothers are, are proclaiming and bringing out the book of Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship, the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Shemashah, which is poured out without mixture unto the, into, into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Yeah, bro. It's, it, that's some serious business, right? But that's one of the idols, right? Right, brothers? That's one of the idols. That he wants you to bow down. He wants you to bow down and receive this. And that's one of the things that's pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Hashem that we understand this. And we're willing to make ourselves a living sacrifice and, 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 and not do those things. We're ready to go the other way uh, even until the death. 
right? Make ourselves a living sacrifice to turn away from this wicked ass world and not bow down to this beast or this image or this system. And the third angel followed Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, and saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, okay, and his image. So we're not down with the program around here. Mm -mm. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand. We all know that's the talking about what's written about in the book of Revelations chapter 13. Verse 16, and he causes all, both small, great, rich, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of, his, of the beast or the number of his name. And we know that's talking about the RFID, that, that chip, right? And these motherfuckers are, uh, you know, they, they're doing their job. They're bringing in the famine of the word. They're censoring the shit out of these things because, um, as the scripture proclaims, it is... It is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them it is not given. So right now, this is the time that the Yahweh Shem Hashem has already proclaimed that this word of truth is only going to be out for a short time because it's, it's here to gather the 144 elect and one third of Israel, the ones that will hear these words, believe them, and repent and be healed. It ain't gonna supposed to be going on forever and ever, 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 ever. Yahweh Shem Hashem said, uh, except those days be shortened, you know, no flesh shall be saved, and they. It got to start sometime that these days got to be shortened. You know, yeah, how about you, my child? I got to come back sometime. We ready to go home, please. You know what I'm talking about, brothers and sisters? Anyway, we ready to go home, man. So that was it, man. Happy. You know, back to Baruch chapter 4, verse 4. Oh, Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to you, how about you, child, are made known unto us. Now, we're just not going to blow past that, right, bro? You just see what I'm talking about now? We're just not going to blow past that, man. We're just not going to blow past it. Yahweh Shem Hashem said, meditate on these, you know, holy, give thyself to them. And uh, so sometime when the brothers, you know, comment on the video or whatever, or if the big brother elder reposts one of the videos, then I might go back and look at it. I don't look at them all the time, but if something, if, you know, if, if, if that happens, I'll, I'll go check it out. And then I'll be like, whoa, because that is the word. That's the spirit of Yahweh Shem Hashem, man, that be bringing it out. And I was like, man, that's. Because it's not of us. It's not of us, bro. So we, 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 we watch and listen to other brothers' videos. And we be like, wow. Because we understand, we know that's the word of Yahweh Shem Hashem. And for Yahweh Shem Hashem to use us to do these things, it's a, it's a true blessing and an honor, man. You know, uh, to and to, uh, and hopefully do it to the best of our abilities with the, with the spirit that Yahweh Shem Hashem has given us. So... We're just not going to blow past that, bro. We're just not going to blow past that, man. This is some serious business right here. Let's jump back over to the book of Baruch chapter 4, verse 27. And once again, be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto you, how about Shema Shai? For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from you, how about Shema Shai? So be in return, seeking ten times more. For he that have brought these plagues upon you, shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Right, so right now, we're even getting geared up. We're crying to you, how about Shem HaShah right now? We're getting geared up because um, this devil is about to come down having great wrath. And we are already crying out to you, how about Shem HaShah? Begging you, how about Shem HaShah for mercy? Begging us, begging him to uh, protect us from his sword, which is Esau Edom. You know, asking the Lord to, you know, cover us, um, cover us in his you know hide us in these last days in this time of Jacob's trouble and just having faith in him and uh, asking the Lord to provide for us because we understand we believe his words about all these plagues that's about to happen on the earth right so we are already crying out to him and and putting up our prayers and making ourselves a living sacrifice and doing everything that's pleasing to you how about you shy so he can because he does say hey he will he will uh, protect those that fear him and we fear him so that's why we're doing all these other things, bro. To please Yahweh Shem Hashem. And to ask and to get into his good graces. And we're not gonna just blow past that because we understand by the uh, being, you know, coming back to the spirit and walking in the spirit, that being able to judge all things, and we know that these other these other motherfuckers ain't doing that shit. Ain't nobody we don't see nobody else doing it. Because if we did see somebody else doing it, we'd be like, hey, yeah, yeah. Just like El Apostle Tahar said, hey look, AOI, they're they're preaching the M the, the M A R K. So we and anybody else that's coming out here preaching the hundred percent truth, you know, under that under the banner of Great Millstone with that hundred percent truth, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, 
We'd be like, yeah, they're, 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 yeah, they're preaching it, bro. That's the, that's the word of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. But then if they come out and they got a gal in their mouth or they're going off, they get rebuked. And we just can't blow past that because that's what the scriptures say to do. This is a big thing, bro. Hey, come on, let's go. We're going to go to the book of uh, Revelation. We're about to wrap it up in a minute. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Right? Let's start at 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. They See, it's, it's already written as in past tense because it's all, you know, it's, and they overcame because Yahweh Shemash has already declared the end from the beginning. So we just can't, bat, we can't just, we just can't blow past that, man. We can't. Right? We got to bring it out, bro. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved out their lives unto the death. Exactly what we're, I was uh, speaking about, uh, you know, this morning. As we all go through some, some, some similar scenario of just, it's just not all, it's just not all, it ain't pretty. It's tough. Being in captivity, being under these damn devils, being servants. You know, it's tough, bro. Therefore, rejoice, verse 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Yeah, and that's what we're talking about, and that's what we're waiting on. Because Shehab HaShem HaShah say, when this devil do this, Yahab HaShem HaShah is going to lift up a standard, right? And we, a. Hey, he said, some of, he said, even, even Yahweh Shemash told us all about this. He said, some of y'all are going to be cast into prison. You're going to be persecuted. Members of your own household are going to rat on you. you know, they're going to close down this. They're going to, they're going to try to make you feel bad, man. You know, they, you're going to be ostracized. You're not going to be, you know, it's going to be terrible, bro. It is the time of Jacob's trouble. Let's go get it. Let's go get that. Let's, uh, yep, let's go get it. Because once again, Yahweh Shemash is, is giving us reassurance. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Alas! For that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who is the he? The servants of Yahweh Shemash. The ones that believe in the word, man. The ones that have thrown themselves into the hand of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. And he shall be saved out of it. You know? We just can't blow past that, bro. We just can't blow, blow past that. We're going to go get these last few scriptures and we're going to close it out, okay? Yeah. And they're right here. Both of them are right here, so close by each other. In the book of James, chapter 4, verse 10. Well, let's start at 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. So this James, chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. No, 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 no. We can't be doing all that shit, man. We can't do that. We, we believe wholeheartedly in Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Draw nigh to Yahweh Hashem Hashem, and he will draw nigh to, the, to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Okay, so the Lord still saying, hey, you double-minded men out there, follow, you know, Elder Apostle Great Millstone. And all the other brothers on down that umbrella with that 100% truth. You know, submit yourselves. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Okay? Humble yourselves in the sight of Yahweh Shemash and he shall lift you up. He shall lift you up, bro. Because we, we in the lowest state. You know, be patient when thou brought to a lowest state. It ain't no fun and games around here, man. Ain't no partying going on around here. And that's why them dudes, once again, got rebuked. You know, uh, Passover time. Supposed to be a sol solemn assembly. Y'all over there at damn strip clubs and shit. We just can't blow past that, bro. So verse 10, humble yourselves in the sight of Yahweh Shemash, and he shall lift you up. Okay? He shall lift you up, brother. Now, we're going to go and get this one more time. In the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 21. Little children, 
Keep yourselves from idols. That's what Yahweh Hashem is telling us. You know, because it's telling you once again in the book of Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, whosoever um, worships the beast or his image and, and receive that mark, your ass going to get it. Okay? So keep yourselves from idols. All of them. And worship Yahweh Hashem Hashem. We just can't blow past that. We, you know, we, Yahweh Hashem Hashem has, has, has uh, one way. We, let's, let's end it off on this one more time now. Come on. Let's end it off on Jeremiah again. Chapter 9, verse 24. But let him that glory, glorieth, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said Yehobah Shemashah. So, hey, man, we're just going to glory that we understand Yahweh Shemashah. And we've come back humbly, you know, believing in the word to the best of our abilities, you know, just doing everything we can to please Yahweh Shemashah this time. Because we understand that Yahweh Shemashah about to come back, brothers, and put everything right. And we just can't blow past that. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba Hashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who is pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever it goes. Shalom Israel. Shalom.